Hello, everyone. Hello. And welcome to our wonderful theatre. Say, who wants a story? Me. Well, that was all right, but I'm going to need a little more than that. Who wants a story? Yeah. Much better. Well, first I'm going to need you to turn off your mobile phones, because we're going back to 14th century Germany, where only witches had phones and everyone spoke in Australian accents. <laughs> of course, people weren't as smart back then, you know, as you and I are, so you might need to help the characters out every now and then. For example, if you see someone sneaking up behind someone else, then you should shout, He's or she's or step ahead of me. They're behind me. Right 
Gee, thanks, mister. This is gonna last me at least a week. Well, see ya. Hold on now, kids. You haven't paid for your lollies? Oh, no. God, we live in a society. Oh, you have to pay for things. <laughs> Capitalism strikes again. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we'd better put these back then. Yes, I guess we'd better return these items to their shelves. What a shame we couldn't buy any lollies because we have no money. Oh, well, such is the cruel nature of life. Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Candy Salesman. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Bye, kids. See you soon. <laughs> Oh boy, I nicked a whole bunch of sherbet lemons. I stole some licorice. I feel kind of bad about stealing, but he wasn't just going to give them to us. We didn't have any money. Oh, he's got loads of candy. He'll be fine. Right. we got to get home and hide these. Otherwise, our parents will ask how we got these without having any money. Oh, let's put them in our pockets. They won't suspect a thing. Great idea, sis. Oh, I'm full of bro. And I'm about to be full of sherbet lemons. And licorice. All right. Let's get home so we can eat this stuff. Right. Now, where on earth are those children of ours? I'm sure they'll be here any second now. Here we are! Yes, hello, Mother and Father. It was us for children returning home safely yet again. There you are. How was your day? It was great. We went to the Candyman store and... Oh, I mean, the Handyman store. Oh, what did I get to go? You'd cramp our style. That's nice, dears. Uh, 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 well, I'm all tucking out. It's been a long day. I think I'm going to head off to bed. Yes, sir. I'll do this also. Uh, good night, parents. Good night. Good night. Oh, and Hans, little Gretel. Yes? yes? What's that you have in your pockets? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, no. Nothing, you just empty pockets. Hansel, Gretel? Yes, Papa? Telling lies? No, Papa! <laughs> we are children! How could you accuse us of. Oh, busted! How did you know? I told them! <laughs> children. Stealing is bad and wrong. It's bad wrong. <laughs> no, it's badong. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Stealing is badong and we thought we raised you better than this. I'll have my lollies back. Thank you very much. Now what do you say to this poor, poor man? Sorry, Mr. Candy Salesman, sir. I should think so. Now, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm afraid I have to ban you both from my lolly shop. Gasp! That's right. <laughs> you can never come to my lolly shop again. Never, ever, ever again. For three months. <laughs> <laughs> and don't expect us to buy you any lollies either. What is it about sugar that makes otherwise well-behaved kids go absolutely gaga? You're just going to have to learn to go without candy, kids. I hope you learn an invaluable lesson from this, that your actions have consequences. Now, go to bed without any supper. <laughs> Gosh, sure looks like Hansel and Gretel are having a bad day. Off to bed without any supper? Well, well, supper's the most important meal of the day. Right after breakfast, second breakfast, eleven seats, brunch, lunch, and afternoon tea. <laughs> oh, I sure hope they learn not to steal again. I know, uh, let's check back in on them this evening and we'll see how they're doing. <coughs> This sucks. Everything sucks. 
I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I can eat a horse. I'm so hungry. I can eat a bed. I'm so hungry. I can eat a drop. I'm so hungry. I can eat a house. Well, I'm so hungry. I can eat every structure and living thing in the small town just north of Adelaide. Moving as swift and silent as the night, striking fear into the hearts of the people who sell everything they've ever known falling down around them. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>